In this video, we're going to learn how to use the intersection function to solve equations. Um, so we have a trig equation here where our domain is x must be between 0 and pi over 2. And they also tell us that the sine of x is equal to 3 cosine of x. And they want to know what the value of x is. So first, let's go to y equals. Let's put in our equation. Um, but instead of putting in the full equation, let's put in both. Let's put in sine x as y1 and 3 cosine x as y2. Uh, and we'll see why in a second. So let's see sine x here and then 3 cosine x. 3 cosine x. Okay. Now we have to make sure we're in radians mode because because we can see that degrees are here using pi, which is radians. Um, so I'm actually already in radians, but just in case you're not, you go to mode and then we go right down here to angle and we make sure that we hit radian and hit enter. Okay, so now we're back to where we were. Okay, now they tell us that the size of the angle x is between 0 and pi over 2 meaning between 0 and 90 degrees. So let's make sure that our window, if we hit diamond F2, the x min is 0, and the x max of our domain is pi over 2. So let's put in pi over 2. And now we can hit enter, and now let us graph this. Diamond F3, and wherever these two functions intersect, that's where um, we have the value of x that we're looking for. So let's see. Here they go. Okay. Now they intersect right at this point right here. So we just have to find out what the value of that point is. So we're going to hit F5 for math. We're going to scroll down to number 5, which is intersection. Hit enter. They're going to say, which is the first curve? Okay, we're right here. Enter. This is the second curve. Let's hit enter. What's the lower bound? So we want to go to the left of the intersection point, which is where we are here. So let's just hit enter. And now the upper bound, meaning to the right of the intersection point. So let's scroll all the way over, make sure we're past it, and hit enter. And our intersection value is x is 1.249. And here's the y value. But they want the value of x, 1.249. Uh, which is right here, choice E. If we go over here, the answer is choice E, 1.249.